Lake Okeechobee discharges to the St. Lucie River will be reduced once again as we look at that ugly green mess. Then those releases will stop for nine days starting Saturday before resuming in what are called pulses indefinitely. Nearly 24 billion gallons of lake water has already poured into the river since discharges began June 1st. And tonight, a packed meeting in Stewart overflowing with anxiety about the algae mess people worry may choke their waterways, their environment, their local economy, their jobs. Megan McRoberts live in Stewart with our details. Megan. Well, Michael, the Army Corps was here in Stewart tonight to update the community on a project that they say will help reduce Lake Okeechobee releases in the future toward the Indian River Lagoon. The community, of course, grateful that the Corps was here in town also to give them a chance to speak directly to that leadership and ask them to keep looking for more solutions. This is 911. Stop the discharges right now. Right now. No more. Speaking directly to the leadership for the Army Corps of Engineers, a packed room of fed up fishermen, business owners, and residents sound off. The disaster that's happening in our estuary right now is more severe than the BP oil spill that happened on the Gulf. In the mix of Martin County natives, some recently moved here, telling the Corps they did not know the environmental crisis they were coming to. We stole their house. We stole their My two-year-old kid can't play in the water behind my house, but I pay property taxes that funds each and every one of you. These are the stories the Corps has been hearing now for years and working to find solutions for. Tonight, updating the community on some of their progress. I think they're trying as best as they can to make something happen, but it's just not enough. Jake Coleman bought waterfront property just a year ago. Half of my community has respiratory issues. Tonight, wanting to hear new ideas. Others turning the attention away from the Army Corps of Engineers. I'm really grateful that they came to our community. Longtime resident Lori Prim calling instead on politicians to do more to empower the Corps to maximize solutions. They are banging on their chests saying stop the discharges, stop the discharges when they cannot and will not stop the discharges. So what else you got? And tonight, Representative Gail Harrell also spoke to the Army Corps, and she actually got an applause when she said that she would support asking President Trump to sign an executive order that would require the Army Corps of Engineers to suspend their current uh, water release schedule. Reporting live, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.